just want to get where your head was at this time early on in the history taking. You've got a woman here, 74 years old. Does that play a part? Uh, fairly active in terms of just fitness and, and being active. She's got this complaint for more than a year of unsteadiness and then this sudden uptick in that four to five weeks prior. It's in a trend of worsening because of that. Right. Nothing brought it on. Stopping as she's walking and then standing still in general and bending those worsen her. All right, you know, I, I remember back when we were talking to Bridget Shoyagertis and to Denise Campbell with previous cases on dizziness and balance. And they talked about how there's a CNS component that we have to kind of start ruling in or out. And there's a vestibular and then there's cervicogenic. You're of the same mind in terms of those three big picture kind of sources of this. And Absolutely. where were you in your head related to that just at this point in the history? My main concern was that she might have some kind of CNS pathology, you know, after the physical exam, it, it kind of made me worry about that almost even more in a way. Well, in some ways, yes, some ways, no. But I was worried about some type of potential red flag, like is there some kind of brain tumor causing cerebellar issues or, or what? I, I did not like the sound of it, I'll put it that way. I, I was on high alert almost from the first minute we started talking. I understand, okay. And what would you needed to have heard that would not have put you on high alert? I mean, just kind of modify our history just for one moment. To yeah. paint a picture where it's like, ah, this is probably really not sinister or serious. Uh, probably if the decline in her balance was more of that, like, yeah, I started to feel unsteady probably five to 10 years ago. You know, they almost have a hard time telling you when it started and it's just kind of gradually gotten worse. And, you know, my family told me I should probably start using a cane. And then I kind of started to versus dramatically, you know, I felt fine walking around and now I have to use a cane and I still feel like I'm about to fall over. It, you know, so drastic, so sudden versus gradual and, you know, a smaller amount over time. I'm with you. So that that was just the, the main thing to me. It was just like, why is this happening? Yeah. Yeah. With the fact that she's active and doing Qigong and walking three miles a day, would that be in a, a common person's background, you know, that, that might be just, uh, you know, a vestibular issue or a cervical genic issue or? I mean, it, I feel like you never can really say one way or another. It, it, it sounds like someone who's, you know, balance should be quite good if they started out decent and they're working on this stuff. I mean, this woman is so diligent in her routine and she's so in tune with her body, it, it, you know, and I think that's why she was like, what's happening to me, you know? And um, I can't remember which provider told her, you know, I, I think they mentioned, well, it's, it's probably just old age. And I asked her, I was like, well, what do you think about that? And she was like, I don't think that's a good enough answer. And I was like, I don't, I don't really think it is either. <laughs> awesome. So, so we were both in agreement, like something's going on and it's not normal, you know. Month after month, new guest experts sharing actual patient cases and subscribers sharing their own challenging and interesting cases. Check out Case Conversations at mechanicalcareforum.com.